glass is my main medium to what attracts me. Now working in other mediums to inform the glass, not necessarily as end products, but printmaking and model making to work through the ideas, but to producing glass. I think I was a lot more immediate working with glass. I would play with samples a lot more and just experiment with the glass direct, straight into the kiln, straight into a vessel form and work from there. If I wasn't happy with that, I would do that again. But as my work has got bigger, I have to think through the process a lot more. And this is where the printmaking came in. It's given me time more than anything. I'm able to think through ideas. I'm able to think about colors more, about layering of colors layering of patterns and designs. I see printmaking as my sketches, so I'm making sketches of the ideas that I'm going to translate into glass, which can then be used for model making as well. Because I start off with the glass as a flat sheet, the analogies work together. It's how the glass starts, it's how the printmaking starts, and how the glass is built up in layers of sifted powder onto the surface of the glass, and then I make marks into it. So that's my substrate, whereas the lino is the substrate for the printing or a copper plate. So they're very similar in the flat form. I always imagine my glass as a 3D piece first, and I work backwards to try and be able to create that. So the printmaking helps in that process of working backwards. I can visualise the designs I see in the glass, and then I can work out how they fit together, what colour will be better at which layer, and... I think more recently in the work now, it's getting much more complicated and I'm trying to hide designs and patterns within the glass that you can't see until it's in a certain light in a certain setting. With the glass, for me, it's important that it's 3D. It has to have a form that you can look into, look through, and with that in mind, I want to think about how that will change in those different settings and what will be important for me for the viewer to see. Will it be a, an opaque blank space that doesn't have light through or will I want to shine a bit of bright light through it or colour? So even though I use opaque powders a lot, you still get translucency, especially with the 3D form because I'm stretching those opaque powders. Adding the light to that will will show you that hidden design. I'm looking for an engagement in the surface, what they can feel as well. It isn't just about visual. Working with powders gives you a little bit of texture. The way a mark make gives you a little bit of texture. In certain aspects, you're going to see different colors coming through. Coming from the science background has helped enormously with glass as a technical medium, but it also started me from a point where research was key. I had to really understand my subject matter. Glass enables my ideas to come to life, which no other medium has managed. Being a craft maker, I'm able to kind of work through the problems and issues of life that I find come up a lot. How we work as humans, how we interact with the world. And then I know maybe people don't get that from seeing a finished class piece. And maybe I don't need them to. But as long as I know that I've gone through a process, I've thought about each stage, and it really is the results of the experiment. 